hello you guys and welcome back to my channel today we are playing the sims this is collard greens and before we get started be sure to follow me on all social media at yaya sims x welcome back to the channel y'all we are playing collard greens and as you can see here carter is finally out of jail yeah period Arbor is out of jail oh my god it was a rough ride for him but at least he's out of that dirty stinky pc nasty prison it was really not it like that was not it and as you can see look at him he has a nice little cute smile on his face he is so happy to be out and in his own home in the comfort of his own home y'all yeah, period as you can see he has his hair down um yeah he has his hair down i want to say this takes place like exactly right after he got out of jail like the day after because he got out of jail at night so this is like the next day and yeah carter is free finally but yeah i don't want to say that his sentencing was too long i want to say his sentencing was less than a year not even a year maybe like six to nine months not even not even not even six to nine months but you know we're not gonna really think too deep into that um i don't really think it's that serious to be honest but i do want my timelines to match up so we're gonna say that he sat for a little while but it wasn't that long because the timeline needs to match up but yeah but yeah um his family did come to see him his family did come to see him oh my god of course who is calling yeah i'm gonna block you you're about to get blocked paul you need to go to rehab his family did come to see him his mom his dad and his little sister we're gonna go ahead and give them a hug they're so happy they have big smiles on their face they're so happy they're so happy that he's home his dad's like loving the hair we like you a model for a shampoo <laughs> a shampoo bottle um but i do want to get a little peek into some of carter's buffs so we're gonna go ahead and look at some of his buffs he's in a playful mood right now um he just said something in to his mom in a different language i don't know i have to fix that <laughs> I have the language barriers mod by don't make me lie to you Zerbu. I really don't know. I think it's zero or Zerbu. It's the language barriers mob, so um I think he is speaking Simlish and since she was speaking another language, I don't know. Um he is feeling close with someone nearby, so he's just really happy with he's with his family. He's trusting the universe from a top notch trait. And he also has kind of some tense buffs going on. We're going to get into that one. Inspiring Decor. Um, closely connected from Family Dynamic. He is really close with his family, so he's really happy to see them. And he's also still feeling silly from like his mom speaking another language. I think she's speaking Sulani. He doesn't really... <laughs> um, he's not really fluent in Koki so, Sulani. That's what the language is called. But yeah, um... This buff right here, as you can see, it says such joy and yet such sadness. Now, if you watched the last episode, which I did kind of forget to do a recap, but that's okay. I'm going to catch y'all up. Um, when he was in prison, Angelique came to visit him and she ended up telling him that she was pregnant with his baby. Yeah, she dropped that, dropped that bomb on him. And as you can see, the buff says... Such joy and yet such sadness from partner's pregnancy. Carter's partner announced being pregnant and Carter is so happy that the baby is on the way. The problem? His partner is not. They announced this as though it was the worst thing that could happen. They do not want that baby, but Carter does. Now, <laughs> this is so fucking messy because if you know Carter, which you all know Carter, Carter, let's just show it. Carter has bought three girls on his line like this man is so this man is you're sick you're actually fucking sick <laughs> you're fucking sick Carter he's with Angelique he's with Kylie and he also I don't know he doesn't really have a thing with his baby mama Nayeli but y'all see how they be flirting like it's mm, we know what was there 
she was his first everything so but it's like okay i don't know it's so complicated um i did have them meet earlier today and i just wanted to have her like um basically call him out for infidelity because i forgot to do that in the last episode and he basically was like gaslighting her he was trying to reassure her that he wasn't with no one else you all liar he was like there's nothing going on you have nothing to worry about let me see if i can find it because he was really like see it says darling you're worrying over nothing we're just friends you make my day so much better like he was really telling her everything like gaslighting the hell out of like we're just friends like she saw the tmz report she saw it she caught you red handed you you are all over headline news you ain't fooling nobody but surprisingly he's fooling Car um, angelique because why she had the audacity to believe him this man carter had the nerve to have a buff that says not appeased carter is in for a tough time as his partner is really really upset about the love affair you are a sick man like how could you do that girl like that but honestly when angelique confronted him she was sad but she actually believed him <laughs> So, I don't know. I thought she was going to be really angry and upset by it, but apparently not. He was not going. He was not admitting to it. He made up some lie, and she believed it. So, I'm going to just leave it as that, because this is getting messy. I'm going to just let them do their thing. I ain't even going to force it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get played, um, press play and see what Carter got going on. It's Tuesday evening, it's 4.30, and he has yet to go see his son, so I think I'm gonna like in this little family meeting room early. Y'all can see him later, y'all can see him next time. I know y'all happy to see him, but he gotta go see his boys, because the boys have gotten a little makeover, and Harlem even aged up. He aged up into a toddler, so. I think we're gonna go see them now. Alright, we are at Naomi's house and we're gonna go see the boys. Carter, let me tell you something. When we get in his house, I need you to be on your behavior. Your best behavior. No flirting with this lady's mama. Do you hear me? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Let's have him go ahead inside. Jesus. Please, just don't embarrass me. Don't do nothing stupid. You come here to see the kids, and that's it. I love their doormat. <laughs> it's so funny. Someone's in the pool, what is that? He's still feeling tense. Oh my gosh, Carter, please give it up. Oh my gosh, look who it is. It's baby Isaiah. You guys, Isaiah has the same braids as his daddy. He's so cute. He's dancing the music. That is so adorable. Let's have him go over here. Yo, they are so cute. They're literally twins. Aww. Why you got that stink? You need to fix your face, like for real. Oh my gosh, I saw where Isaiah's making the same face. Look at these two! Oh my gosh, y'all are so freaking! I'm so bad. <laughs> Isaiah's walking away, and he's like, "Where are you going? Don't walk away from me." He's like, "Give me a hug, Papa. I miss you so much." Aww. He's like, "All right, where's your brother?" And Ayeli's in the kitchen. Oh, she made some food. We is kind of hungry. Look at Carter. <laughs> He's like, what's up? And was like, oh my god, you made it out. Oh my god, look at you. Come give me a hug, dude. He's like, damn, I do miss your food. So don't let me get up. I'm going to come give you a hug. <laughs> now he texting. 
I guess uh -oh. not. <laughs> I guess not. She's like, you're looking good. You got a little bulkier, I see. You got fat, too. She's like, fat? Mm, I don't know about fat. I don't know about fat. You like fat. I don't know about fat, but it's good to see you. you smell good. Damn. She's like, it's good to see you too. I'm glad you're out. I'm glad you can see the voice. What? He's. What the fuck? Whoa, why did this just take me so off guard? I don't even, you know what? Now you're trying to take a muscle relax and soak in a bath. No, you is not finna get comfortable up in here. Where is Harlem? Y'all just doing it already. Y'all doing it. Up here with grandma. Let's go give him a hug. Let's go pick him up. Harlem is now a toddler, you guys. He's not a little baby no more. And for sure, sure enough, he looking just like Carter too. Just with shorter hair. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's so cute. Gosh, Carter, please contain yourself. He's like, hey, Mrs. Jarrell. Harlan is daddy. Say, so how you been, buddy? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Let's give him a hug and let's give him a family kiss. I was like, Bella. He's like, dang, you are so big, boy. Aww. The kid is not even worried about her. What's new? He's like, nothing's new. He missed Harlem's first birthday. He's like, I know I gotta make it up to him, I promise. Like, come here, boy. So big. Oh, he's gonna put him in the bed. Why are you trying to put them in bed? Mm -mm. He up to something. <laughs> he up to something. He's like, good night. I'll see you in the morning. Love you. Oh, they have a sentiment. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. Made some great memories and we'll make many more. I'm sure of it. Aww. Is he gonna put Isaiah to bed too? Let's put Isaiah to bed. It's 10 o'clock at night. Carter's being such a good dad. That is so nice of him. As he should, like, you need to get yourself together. You need to rebrand. <laughs> He's like, come on, buddy, it's bedtime. I was like, oh, I wish I want to put his braids back so we can be matching with Isaiah. Should we have Nayeli braid his hair? I think I want to have Nayeli braid his hair. <laughs> yeah, put the kids to bed and then go downstairs and ask Nayeli to braid your hair. Nayeli's just in here dancing, minding her business, and here come Carter. Why would he sit like, <laughs> he's like sitting in a chair watching her? Boy, she's not thinking of you. He's like, so, um, my hair, right? I just washed it and all that. And I was thinking, I got a pretty girl come braid it for me. She's still dancing. She's ignoring his ass. Oh. Okay. She's like, Carter, you would come over here and ask me to braid your hair. He's like, for real? It's all itchy and scratchy. You gotta put them claws in it, scratch it and all that. You got them, them long fingernails on. She's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll braid your hair. She said, what she wanted, two braids? He like, yeah, just two braids. She like, all right, come on. Yo, <laughs> I switched controls to Nayeli and she's feeling tense because needs child support from the baby drama mod. I think she has the baby mama trait. 
Oh wait, no, I think it's the baby drama mod. Okay, so I have a mod that is like, uh, I don't know, I think like baby, it's basically baby drama, basically baby drama. And it says Nayeli needs to get that child support payment ASAP. They got bills to pay, diapers to buy, and a baby to take care of. Who else is going to pay for this stuff? So she's feeling tits because she's like, Carter's over here doing all of this flirting and this and that but was she really she really want that child support like what are you doing <laughs> he's just still following her upstairs <laughs> Nayeli is not playing with him she's like Jill or not I need that child support we might need to go ahead and send that deposit over to her cuz Nayeli is mad I'm not the mom being nosy girl go to bed Harlan woke up. Let's put him back to bed. Y'all, why she pull out the scissors? <laughs> what? So he's like, okay, Kaya kind of got some inches though. <laughs> his, I'm gonna say his hair grew in jail. Like, he got some inches now. He really sat down at 3 o'clock in the morning getting his hair braided by Nay Nayeli. She still want that child support though. We're gonna pay her. We're gonna pay her for real. We're gonna send her some money. Cause Carter has been gone for a while and yeah, she needs some money. She's gonna get him right, she's gonna put that spritz on there. I think I think it's gonna change his hair, but we're gonna put his braids back in. Oh, why are you looking back like that? Yo, this man is too fucking fine. Hold on, if that I was not yelling, girl, bitch, wait. <laughs> She's trying it. She looks like a real hairstylist. She's so cute. Carter's just so happy to be here. Like he don't care about nothing else. He's just happy to be here. Not yelling, girl. Be calm. Is it that serious? <laughs> He's feeling himself. He's like, yeah, I'm back to myself. Back to my braids. And then she's so happy with her work. <laughs> she's like, all right, that's a fee. Oh, why he trying to get in her bed? Sir, if you don't pay this girl and take your bond home. Oh, oh, she done got in her pajamas. We don't send him on his way. She paid, he paid her. He's gonna pay the rest, okay. We gotta get one little hug in before saying bye. Miley likes intimacy. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. All right. She's like, good night. She's like, good night. I love you. She's like, good night, Carter. <laughs> Go home. He looks so far I cannot. Look at how confident you are. He looks so confident. You ain't shit for me. You ain't shit. <laughs> Alright, so it's the next day and Carter just finished breakfast. And I think I'm gonna have him finally meet up with Angelique and see what's gonna happen <laughs> with this baby. Because Angelique is in her second trimester, I believe, and Carter just is completely blindsided. Yo. Bruh, why the girl from jail at the door? Girl, you got your prison uniform on. Did you escape? <laughs> right here. And he just hugging her. Girl, get off of our doorstep. Go home. Go back to jail. Go back to jail. Because why she got on a jumpsuit still? That's suspicious. We cannot be seen with you. We are already in trouble. Send home. Go home. Carter, come back in here. We don't need you in nothing else. Speaking of which, Carter still has to stay low key. Carter can't do anything. He can't even smoke anymore, y'all. He has nothing in his inventory. He has to stay low. He still has to attend another court date because he'll most likely be on house arrest. And once that happens, I don't know. I don't know, he won't be able to really do anything. As you can see, his money is already kind of low, 10K. That's way low than how he started out in the beginning. 
but he is going to get a deposit. I do have to transfer a deposit from Rahul to him. I think I'm going to do that. He is going to get like a 20k deposit, so that's that. He also paid off lawyers and stuff, so his money is kind of low right now. He got to pay Naya, he got to pay child support, he got to do all types of stuff. And he doesn't have any job, so he's not selling, he doesn't have a job. We got to find something quick for our boy. You need to, you need to figure what, out, what you're going to do. Is you going to get a job or what? Ooh, the lottery is today. What if we test our luck and actually <laughs> do the lottery? Yo, what if we actually win the lottery? Let's purchase a lottery ticket. Get off of the computer. We need to find a way to get this money by tomorrow, car. Okay, so I haven't played a lottery. And then I'm going to have him go ahead and change into something. Let's have us change his outfit. Um, let's have him change into this. And then we're gonna go out and meet with Angelique somewhere. Alright, he's energized and he's ready to go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head out now. Okay, so Carter and Angelique have arrived and I just had them come to the di dispensary. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else, so they're just at the dispensary. Um, we're not gonna go in here. I don't know why she's gone in here. Carter, we can't even be in here. We can't even look in here. But the bodega is open, I think. Let's hire a vendor. We're gonna get something from the bodega and just sit somewhere. Yo, what is Saffron doing here? Girl. Girl. Saffron. Anyways. Let's order something from the bodega. Should we get, what should we get? Let's get some food and drink. Let's get something to drink. Should we get a chopped cheese? What should we get, y'all? Should we get some scratch-offs? I love this bodega. I kind of did this area. I customized this part. Let's see, we can get a chopped cheese. Well, I don't think Carter's hungry. We're gonna maybe save that for later. Okay, Lonnie's calling. We're, we're gonna talk later now. Let's have him get. Let's get some Skittles or something. Damn, Skittles is four dollars. What the fuck? We're gonna have him get some Skittles. Um, uh, fuck it. That's gonna be it. Let's just get some Skittles. This is a custom bodega um, stall by Q and BB. I love this mall. I love. I love it. I love it. I mean, I kind of just like decorate it. Or edited the area. Oh, mind our manners. Angelique, did you want something? Seeing that you should be pregnant and all and eating for two. <laughs> oh my gosh, she looks so sad. I don't think she, she doesn't want the baby, y'all. Carter, we need to do something. He's like, How are you feeling? She's like, I'm in good spirits today. Thank you. He's like, You're so so pregnant that is <laughs> she's like yeah i'm pretty much i'm pregnant oh he keeps wanting to compliment her appearance that is so sweet why do i keep calling it so sweet cardi you're a player this is not sweet at all you got this girl pregnant and <laughs> she don't even want the damn baby i want to have them talk it over though he's like you look great you look great now I want to have them come sit somewhere. Should I have them sit? Mm, it's a nice day. Let's have them sit at the park. Let's sit and chat here. Sit and chat there. Oh, hearing worries about pregnancy. Oh my gosh, she's so like over it. She really is like, she really hates his ass right now. Okay, let's see if we can talk over things with her and to... I don't know. She's already so far along. Like, what to do? What to even do? And then her finding out he is with another girl. 
Carter, you're full of shit. Um, first of all, let's um, ask about pregnancy. Let's ask her. He's like, how far along are you? I haven't been there to come to any appointments. She's like, yeah. Um, okay, so she says, nice of you to ask. I'm in my second trimester. I wasn't really wishing for a child right now. Pregnancy has its good days and bad days, but overall, it's a beautiful experience. Oh my God, we ruined this girl's life. He keeps wanting to compliment her though. That's so sweet. But she just is not having it. Like she looks so fucking distraught. Oh, okay, let's do that and then. Um, it has to consider, no. Let's ask. We can't ask her for your baby name. She's really not like into this right now. Let's I'll organize to provide for the baby. He's like, you won't have to worry about anything. Obviously, I'm gonna take care of me and moms, you know. Anything you need, don't even worry about it. I got it. He says with only 10k in his bank account. And you gotta pay child support. Oh child. And what else? Let's see. Um, and things about pregnancy. Uh try to be sure about pregnancy. Tell you want to keep the baby. Let's tell her that we want to keep the baby. He's trying to make her feel better. <laughs> He's really trying. He's like, I really, really want to have a baby with you. And there's nothing we can do about it right now. I know you're already far along. I'm here to support you through and through. Just know whatever decision you make. Just please consider it. What is she going to say? It's obviously gonna take some time. Oh my gosh, she is not having it. She's still sad. I wish I wanted it from partner's pleadings. Angelique knows her being unhappy about this pregnancy hurts her partner. It's hard to hear them pleading to not give up the baby. <gasps> oh girl, you can't have a fucking abortion. She's like, but this and this and this and that, and then my job, and then I don't have nowhere to stay like that, and then this and this. On different sides, from different pregnancy wishes, Carter is so happy about the upcoming birth. Sometimes it really upsets him to spend time near a partner who does not want this child. Oh, brother. It's our baby. Oh my God, he's feeling angry from partner while not wanting baby. Carter is angry at himself and his partner for getting into this situation in the first place angry angry you want to talk about angry sir you're part of the reason no matter how hard he tries to be understanding it's not hard to begrudge his partner for being so negative about the baby that he loves already carter you knew about this baby for not even a fucking month not even a whole fucking month you really do not he is really distraught over this, like, this is one of the biggest things that you have to deal with right now. You have so much shit you have to deal with, and this is the one thing that is fucking do up. What is... Oh, that is true. Is this Drew or Zay? I think this is Zay. <laughs> he hasn't seen Zay in a while. He's like, fam, what's up fam? He's like, shit bro, you finally made it home. They told me came different, little Carter. He's like, yeah, I'm finally home. It's like, shit. Came down to see you. Been in the city doing some, doing some drops. He's like, oh yeah. I'm hoping to get back in it soon, but I doubt it. He's like, yeah, bro. Definitely stay out of the way. <laughs> He's like, how are things though? With the gang, with the group. He's like, shit, she's going pretty well. I think we're, I think we're, we're kind of in the ranks now. You ain't got to worry about nothing, bro. We got you, we got you. We don't always look out for you, bro. Don't worry about nothing. You're taken care of. Carter's like, I fuck with you. You're my dog. You're my dog for real. Oh my God, look at his, his teeth. He has a mouthful of gold. All that ice, period. 
Sakari is back at home and he finally got his deposit from Rahul. He got his cut of 20k and he also sent a deposit to Nayeli. He has to pay child support every month, I think. Well, basically every, yeah, every, every sim week. Uh, let's see, where is it? He has to pay 2696 $2, 200 I am blind as hell. <laughs> 2696 Um, I don't think they are ready for this week. So we're going to go ahead. Whoops, I just added money. 2000 We're going to take that away from his money. There we go. So his money is now at 30 k which is pretty decent considering everything but you know he's all well um i think i'm gonna end this episode here he's sitting here eating skittles oh my god that's so cute i think i'm gonna end this episode here kata has a lot to catch up on he has to catch up with rahul and the gang in the next episode i will have him do that and he also has to do something about his job like what is he gonna do for work now that he can't sell anymore now, now that he can't do illegal activities anymore what is he also going to do about the baby and what is he going to do about and he also has an upcoming court date soon so we'll see all that in the next episode thank you guys so much i'll see you in the next one bye can i lose if i'm already chosen like if she feeling hot then i make up his rules and i get up his hair every time that i post